Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Jake the Improviser. Uh, if you want to know what this channel is about, it's basically about improvise comedy. So if you're new to improvise comedy or you're in a newly formed uh, short form group this channel is for you what do you expect from this channel fun improv games uh, techniques my journey into the weird and wonderful world of hip-hop improv two of my favorite genres blended together so i'll be documenting my journey into the madness of that so you expect video content along the way in the form of funny vlogs, a little series on my favourite improvised comedians, why they're my favourites. So expect that content on this channel as well. So if you are new to improvised comedy and you want to learn how to be a better performer, this channel is for you. How I got into improv comedy. 2011 it all started. An improviser was born. Jake the Improviser. So I'm going to tell you my journey of how I got in to improvise comedy. So it all began many, 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 many years ago. In fact, nine years ago. When I graduated from high school, I decided I wanted to get into improvise comedy. Because during my teenage years, I watched this popular, popular show. And it was reruns of this very popular, popular show called Whose Line Is It? anyway UK and US so I watched both series of these shows so I preferred the US one to the UK one just because some of the uh, comedic improvisers they had on the US ones in my personal opinion were better than the UK ones but that's just my opinion what's your opinion if you've seen whose line is it anyway I'd love to hear down in the comment section down below. After many years of watching Whose Lines It Anyway, how would I learn the skill to be an improvised comedian, an improvised actor? I went to YouTube, just like you have done, and you've stumbled across this video. And I stumbled across this channel, these iconic, awesome improvisers called the RH Experience. Many years ago, they done these um, weekly videos when they just improvised random scenes and done fun improvised games on their rooftop. It was really, really, really cool. And I was like, this is amazing. I need to learn how to do improvise comedy. So I went to their show and one member of their group, uh, Tom Webster, he said, yes, yeah, we done classes with Hoopla Improv. So I decided to Google. So I went to Google, typed in Hoopla Improv, popped up, one of the first in the search, uh, drop in classes for improvised comedy for beginners. So I decided, young Jake, 18 at the time, decided I'm going to go to these dropping classes and learn how to be an improvised comedian. So I'd done their dropping classes for around a year, year and a half. From their dropping classes, I formed my own short form improvised comedy group called Mini Mini Montage. We performed several shows together, but as like all improvised groups, uh, especially short form improvised groups, they tend to drift apart from each other due to personal reasons, career ambitions, or they go to stand up, for example. I've been part of several short form groups. So then mini mini montage were no longer. I then took a break from improv uh, comedy for a couple years. So then I came back in to improvise comedy after my two years break. I went to a few jams. Um, during the beginning of that year. And from those few jams, a short form improvised group decided to grab me, not physically, uh, just offer me a place with their team. And this was an amazing opportunity for me because I was just going to jams to get my improv comedy fix because uh, I missed it so much. Uh, the last couple years where I took a break and I was ecstatic to join their team. Pandla stand, pandla stand, 
Pun to Stan Levine, I, I can't say it, I'm just going to put the text here, I could, I could never say it. It's a really tongue twister, and being dyslexic myself, these weird names really, really confuse me in my head. Like phenomenon, pheno phenom, anyway, you get the gist of it. So then I performed with said group for a uh, several shows. I really enjoyed performing with their group, but then I had an opportunity to audition for another a short form improv comedy group. So I auditioned. Oh, um, I'm going to explain what an improv audition is in a later video, so stick around to the channel uh, for that content. But for now, I'll just go on my improv timeline. Got accepted into comedy group and I have been performing for them ever since. We do weekly shows and weekly rehearsals at the moment. If you want, follow our Instagram page, a link in the description down below. I uh, would love your support. And then we come to present day now. My improv comedy career is going really well, uh, I think, personally. I'm doing what I love on a regular basis. It shows in my performance. And I got a new lease of life of creating this channel for you. And I might learn some new things from you. I'd love to hear how you uh, got into improvised comedy. Please leave a comment down below. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've liked me telling you my improv journey. I would love to hear more from you. What is your improv journey? Have you just got into improv comedy? Or have you been performing for several years like I have? I'd love to know down in the comments section below. If you're new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button? Uh, I make weekly content here uh, three times a week to inspire your imagination and help you improve your improv comedy techniques. Thank you very much for watching again guys. I'll see you again next video in a couple days. But here are a couple bloopers from this video. So enjoy, sit back, relax and make yourself a cup of tea. See you Friday guys. Bye. Towards uh ugh. come on Jake. You got this. Um if you want <clears throat> help you help help you help you